Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirit Hunters Talk here with me, Alex, I nearly said Laurie, and Laurie, stop laughing. <laughs> Today we're going to be showing, we're going to be showing you an unboxing video as such, because we've bought some new equipment, I must warn you I spent a shitload on this, so, and the import fees were, woof. but this stuff was bought from ghoststop.com, I highly recommend them, they are US based. But, they are decent, their equipment works, if something's wrong with it, they send you a replacement within two working days. So, you can't grumble. Um, so, yeah, they're very good. Check out their website, I'll put their website in the description below. Check them out, you want to buy your equipment, buy it from there. If you're in the UK, you will get import fees. But, it's worth it, because you get decent equipment and not shite. So, without further ado, let's have a look. start with we have a ground pod there which is chargeable it's also known as a boo buddy oh, I see I think it needs charging Uh, comes with its own little box and plugs and all that sh stuff, which will be very useful in places like very prominent. And anywhere with children. Yeah, it's getting the bloody thing back in the box. That's the um, disadvantage of it. Nice, decent case for it as well. I think they charge up the equipment and show them how it works as well. Uh, this is a wallet thing, but I'll wait till I've got the other thing. Uh, we have a new audio device, uh, the Zoom thing. Um, it's meant to be better than the one I've got, so I thought I'd give it a try and see if it's better sound or whatnot. <clears throat> uh, oh, just a bit. This is another camera bracket. Uh, I bought it just for the sake of buying it because you can never have too many camera brackets. And, you know, even on the picture you see a microphone and a light, which would be handy. I do intend to get a microphone at some point. What is this in here? This feels heavy. I'm actually not sure. But anyway. Anyone who uh, does this job knows what this is. This is a RAM pod. Um, it's a proper one. And... This is basically like a, um, well, I suppose you could call it a Let you know if anyone passes, isn't it? Pretty much like a, a um, motion sensor, but for spirits. So that'll be fun to use. We've got two of these. So I'm only going to show you one because I only need to show you one for a minute. Um, 
What else have we got? This is a thermometer thing, which would be very useful indoors, because it will tell us if any temperatures have changed. Um, I'm not sure how it works, I'll work that out a bit later. But and that's the other ramparts. This is something I've already had before, this is a, a plasma line. I do have one on my recording camcorder. This is my day. No, that's not it, it's over there. Um, but you basically charge it via USB and yeah, you've got a light. What's this? Ah, this is the Xbox, well, S-Box, sorry, I need to say Xbox. Is it not I don't know how that would help with paranormal, personally. It wouldn't have. It's a type of spirit box. I've seen other YouTube channels use them, so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot. I mean, it looks like that. I'm just going to try and take it out without ruining it. Looks like that. It's quite small. Um, So, got its own antenna. Uh, I don't know if there's a volume control on here, I'll have to figure that out. Yes, there is. Definitely a volume control on that one. Um, there's all kinds of buttons here, I've got to read up what they do, but. Yeah, that's that's the S box. I gotta fit it in the hole now. And I hope it all goes back in. They're a bit fiddly, aren't they? Oh, it's getting back in the hole there. Though. Oh, they make them so tight, don't they? No, oh, that doesn't sound right. Does that sound like you're talking about holes that you filled it? I can't get it in the hole. Because I don't think that was going in there. I think it was meant to go in here. This went in here. Next, we have the uh, I think it's called a Faraday wallet. It's for the S box, which would be handy. It's also got a nice little chain, so that'd be useful. Now, what else? Uh, you've already seen one of these, these are light camera brackets. Two of these following. These are full spectrum uh, cameras. I gotta work out how to use them, as you can see, made by Ghost Stop. Uh, they do full night vision, inferred light, night vision, wireless app download for smartphones and tablets, waterproof up to 30 meters, uh, removable storage, data card, rechargeable battery, unlimited power via power plug, you know. I thought I'd give them a try because they'd be useful to capture something if I can use it on a remote and I'm not in that area, which would be handy. Uh, I've got some more lights. Let me check them out. You've got one there that you can show them if needed. Yeah. Um, this is basically a replacement for my other light because the ones I bought previously, not from Go Stop, just to clarify, uh, they kind of broke. I got various wallets um, for all my equipment, obviously, because you can never have enough protectors for your equipment. Trust me on that one. This one, I think, might be the wide angle one. 
Nope, it's the... This is a rechargeable battery pack which would be handy if you're out in the field and you know you run out of batteries. It's USB, it's got two USB ports as you can see. So I'm going to give that a whirl later on. I think we can get out but we should be able to. Oh, we should be able to. That's the problem, why not? Originally, I wanted to get the ED, EDI meter, but unfortunately at the moment, they are currently out of stock. Um, I don't even know if it's got batteries in it to start with, just show you, but... I don't even know how you turn it on. <laughs> the new gadgets to work. How do you go if something's happened? new stuff we've got to work out. Be pretty straightforward once you get used to it. We well, know how to sort it out and doing it a while. Yeah. I'm sure we'll work it out eventually but it's just gonna take time. fun toy to try. Well, it's got a shitload of instructions as well, which gives me something to read. Um, I'm just trying to see what this is. I think this is the wide angle infrared light. Um, I'm not going to take it out yet because I'm not using it. Don't get damaged in transit. Okay, yeah, give me some scissors. Got the ones that work. These do. Oh, they fucking don't. They do. Give it here, I do. I know how to work. 
but don't know anyway. This, which I don't think has any batteries in it. Nope. This is what's known as a Rook energy sensor, which is similar to the K2, but apparently this is more sensitive. So it won't pick up like power lines and shit like that. Um, but That's straightforward to work. Yeah, it should be fucking quite simple. You can't fuck up that. It'd have to be really stupid to fuck that up. I'm sure we know a few who may. No names mentioned. Yeah, but I can think of one that's popped in my head. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not here to say who. No, who no. Who. These are little flashlights, I believe. If I put the bloody box on them. Yep. Tiny little flashlights. Save carrying all the other torches. Plus, Laurie's one, which was bought from a company I will not mention, because I don't want to give them any bloody ammunition. Uh, will probably break soon, because the last one did after a few months. So I expect hers will break very shortly. Now, what do you think they are? Oh, good. These are just S box batteries, spare batteries. You can never have enough batteries. Um, several memory cards. Or 32 GB, but yep, yeah, there they are. Um, More S box batteries? Nope, these are camcorder batteries. Oh, they all in the same package, then that's why I say. That's the Mel Meter Replacement Probe. I'm not sure how it works, but I'll figure that out. We also have a uh, Rampod replacement probe as well because you can never have enough of them. Uh, free gift, they always give you a key ring and a pen. What's that? Placement batteries for the camcorder. Ah, no, these are for the cameras down there. This is for dual spectrum camcorder, which is what I got. These are mounts, which will be very handy to mount the lights, because they're heavy duty, these ones. And obviously you get a three pen, which... Oh. Which has a light on it. And some more mounts different sizes, I'm not even sure how they work, but I'll figure that out later. But yeah, also known as horseshoes. Why are they calling that to be on there? So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video because uh, I've got a lot of equipment to test soon. No idea when that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's almost like it's Christmas again. Feels like it when you get these packagings in and they're all big open boxes. It does feel like Christmas. Before. Yeah. I'm just going to put it all back in for now. So I can work out what's what and deal with it. But I need to tilt it up slightly. Oh, that's too high. It's a learning curve. So yeah, that was the unboxing video. Please check out gostop.com. Okay, that's stop, not shop. S-T-O-P, not S-H-O-P. Even I got confused, so don't panic. Um, they do some great equipment. My, I have to take my hat off to them if I had one on. Honestly, they go 
bend over backwards to make sure everything goes all right. Uh, I had a few issues with the delivery of this package, funny enough, to start with. Um, I was being told one thing by UPS, and I messaged Go Stop to let them know, look, is there a problem going on? Because uh, I got contacted about something called clearance, or customs clearance, and I've never had to do that before. And they pretty much sorted it straight away. So, <sighs> my hat goes off to them if I had one on. Honestly, check out their website. I'll leave it in the description. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, no idea when we'll be testing all this. But, I expect we'll test it at some point. We always do. And, you know, if you want to buy decent equipment, go to go stop. If you want to buy tatty equipment that's going to break, Go to, uh, what's it called? Something Electrics. I'm not going to say the name. But this is all good stuff which I will experiment with at some point. I'm just going to see what's in this box because we haven't done that yet. So, what have we got here? Another torch. Oh, they gave me a K2 meter. Have I got one of them? Oh, my. I'm not sure it's getting out of the flipping box. And you've got three now. And they've also given me this, looks like a bloody watch. the other part. Ooh. A handbook. That might be handy. Ooh, fascinating. I kind of need a wee. Anyway, that concludes this video. Please like and subscribe if you uh, and if you're new to the channel, check out our videos. We post whenever we can, we're without a vehicle, so it does take time. We may have a special announcement for later on this year, um, where we're going to do an investigation at a certain place. Speaking of which, have no. you had that phone call yet? No. No. I'm not saying nothing no, about no, no, no. it, it's all um, a surprise for them. Unfortunately, it'll be a closed event, so... I'm not going to say much more because I want to. I want to say something, but I, I just can't. Now I've got to figure out soon how to transport all this. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And me and Laurie, she's gone now. She's gone that way. We'll see you in the next one. Probably testing out this equipment. Bye for now.